it's an equation, so you fill it in your calculator. Represent the h by what x in the calculator. Since it's an equation, calculator work. Let's go. So, fraction key 500 divided by 20. Now they are the same unit. Cosine alpha the cosine. Instead of h, I'll put x because I don't have x uh, h in my calculator. I'll put x in place of it. Fraction key 25. When I'm done, I solve it. It's an equation. So, what did I get? H is equal to which is the height is what? 625 centimeters because we are using centimeters in the calculation. So, let's look at the answers. This is the only one that can be the possible answer. Can you see? That's it. 625 centimeters. And he has written it 6.25 centimeters. Why is it so? He has converted the answer from centimeters back to what? Meters. So from centimeters to meters, what is the conversion unit? 100. So you divide here by what? 100. That's what it means. It's proportion. Are you aware? If 100 centimeters equals 1 meter, which you know, then 625 centimeters. You are comparing centimeters to centimeters. Are you expecting more? 100 is this, 600, we are expecting more. So 625 divided by 100 times 1. And if you are dividing by 100, two decimal places, you move backwards. So 1, 2, 6.25. Good. So beautiful. Your calculator has solved it for you. All right, let's move on. Question 4 is similar to the first one we did. If sine x equals 1 over q, go to the following is equal to tan x. So you have to label this first. So lab, let's label. What is tan? Sorry, what is sine? So, so, so write it down to be free. Sine equals what? Sine x equals opposite over hypotenuse. Let me put my x here. What is the opposite here? So here is the one. Opposite over hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse? Here should be the key. Do you agree? So just label it as it is. Offset over hypotenuse. You identify the offset with the angle. Hypotenuse is non negotiable because of this. Now, he's asking for tan x. What is tan x? Tan x is equal to what is tan? Twa. 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 Offset over what? Adjacent. We know the offset we want. Adjacent we don't know. So we have to use Pythagorean triple to find it. Then we can insert it. Pythagorean triple, so let's represent here by, let's say, y. So my y is equal to, this is no, so it's minus. Hypotenuse no, so hypotenuse squared minus this squared, which is 1 squared. You get it? You have gotten it. Now we can put this one in place of here and go. Therefore, tan x is equal to, to our opposite. What is the opposite? 1, this one. Over hypotenuse. What is the opposite over adjacent? What is the adjacent? The one we just found. Q squared minus 1 squared. Now, this is the final answer. Do you have a question? Can I answer like that? Mm -hmm. It should be minus, not plus. So this is out. This is out. Q squared minus that. It should be 1 over something. So it is the answer. It can never be this. <laughs> Interesting. Do you get it? This is that. Unless you decide to conjugate this. Let's try conjugation and see. Remember conjugation. Let's try conjugation. Conjugation means even this one is covered by a root. So it will be unnecessary. So the answer is A. It's unnecessary. In the diagram, find the, find the sum of x and y. We are finding the sum. So if you find x, find y, sum them. That is the answer. Okay. What is x? They are angles. x and y are angles. I can see two triangles in the same diagram. Do you see the same thing as I do? <laughs> Mathematics, you must see. You must observe something. Okay. So watch here. This angle. Since angles are involved, so that y is the issue. 
so that and now all the dimensions that are given so can, I can use any of them so let me use tan and go tan y I'm looking for y is equal to mm -hmm. this is the word offset so tan is offset to y offset so offset of the y is two root three over adjacent of it is two this is the adjacent but look at this symbol this is the right angle triangle so this one is automatically what I put in the do you agree yes so the adjacent is two so what two so if I want to find y like I said let me do it once more if I have a tan here by all tan so y is equal to tan inverse tan inverse of two to three over two so let's find that tan inverse Let's find that using our calculator. All right, so shift tan, use of tan, tan inverse of it's a fraction two root two, two root three, two root three, come down two, close your bracket. Sorry, the answer is what 60. And close the bracket here. It's 60 degrees. So y is 60 degrees. I've got my y to be 60 degrees. Let's come for the x. I'm going to use the same term because all the sides are available. So if all the sides are available, you choose whether to use tan, cos, or uh, sine. So I'm going to use tan. I love sine. Tan. What is the offset? Two offset. What is the offset? So tan x. Because what is the opposite of it? Opposite of the x is one. Mm -hmm. What is the adjacent? Now, this is a right angle. You understand? Therefore, the two becomes the hypotenuse for it, and adjacent is root three. So, over root three. So, x is equal to tan inverse of tan inverse of. One over root three. So let's do just to that. Tan inverse of. So I can just go in and make changes there. So the person said find the sum of them. So the sum is sixty plus thirty. The answer is ninety degrees.